2,100 kilometers. That's the total range you can get with BYD's new hybrid on just one tank and one charge. Not even Tesla can match that right now. What, what, what are you doing differently that Tesla is not doing? Uh, we have more models. <laughs> so just a very simple example, we have seven to nine models. Their newest engine, which is part of BYD's fifth generation hybrid system, only uses 2.9 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers when the battery is low. It's not just an electric car. It is a high efficiency hybrid that runs longer at a cheaper price. So what exactly did BYD create in the name of a new engine? And how is it going to change the EV industry forever? BYD's recent breakthrough. Recently, BYD launched its new SEAL 06 and Chin L electric vehicle models. However, the highlight of the show was their whole new hybrid system. It is a plug-in hybrid that now gets 2,100 kilometers of range on one full tank and one full charge. That's almost three times what regular gas cars can do. The reason behind this upgrade is BYD's newly released fifth generation dual mode system. DM basically means it is a plug-in hybrid, so you can drive with electricity, with fuel, or both. But this version is not like the old ones. It is not like you will be switching between fuel and electric. In this new system, the electric motor does most of the work, and the fuel engine is there just to support it. That's how they have pulled off this crazy fuel efficiency. When the battery runs out, instead of chugging through fuel as most hybrids do, this system uses just 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, which is basically nothing. Most fuel cars use around 8 or 9 liters for that same distance. BYD's system is pulling off one-third of the fuel and going three times farther. So how did they do it? They rebuilt almost everything. First up, the engine. It is a 1.5 liter petrol engine, and honestly, the power numbers look pretty average, around 99 horsepower. But that's not even the best part. The real secret is how efficient it is. Most car engines waste a ton of energy as heat, but this one doesn't. It runs at 46.06 .06 thermal efficiency. To be clear, that's the highest of any mass-produced car engine right now. Toyota used to hold the crown with 41%, and now BYD has jumped past them. So, how did they get there? It wasn't easy. According to BYD engineers, they ran over 240 different combustion experiments just to get the fuel mix right. Then they tested over 100 different cooling methods to stop the engine from overheating when they pushed it harder. In the end, they managed to raise the compression ratio, which is the pressure inside the engine. They raised it from 15.5 to 16. That small number change took a ton of work, but it paid off. The engine now runs more cleanly and uses less fuel per mile. Something that most people miss is that this engine does not run all the time. In fact, it is designed to turn off as much as possible. When it does turn on, it stays inside what BYD calls the high efficiency zone. That means the engine is only active when it can run at peak performance. So you are never wasting fuel idling in traffic or crawling through a parking lot. The electric motor handles those boring low speed jobs. BYD also unveiled their new motor. There are two options depending on the model a 161 horsepower version or a 215 horsepower version. The first one is for people who want good fuel economy. The second one gives you a little more punch on the highway. Either way, you are getting way more flexibility than most hybrids offer. BYD is letting you choose how you want the car to behave, and that's a smart way to go. But the engine and the motor are just part of it. The powertrain, basically the whole system that moves the car, has been redesigned too. BYD packed seven different components into one controller. That saves space, cuts down on wires, and makes everything run faster and smoother. It also means less energy is lost during operation. According to their data, this new system reaches a total efficiency of 92%, which is huge for a hybrid. Another upgrade is that the electric hybrid system now has 70% higher power density. That means it gets more power out of the same space and weight. The parts don't have to work as hard, and the car feels more responsive. That's the kind of thing you usually only see in expensive performance cars. 
but these were not the only upgrades made in their new vehicles. What other incredible features are their new cars going to have? The phenomenal blade battery. It's their blade battery, which is the core of what makes their hybrid system work so well. So, what exactly is it? The blade battery is BYD's own version of a lithium iron phosphate battery. Most EVs still use nickel, manganese, and cobalt batteries. Those can overheat, cost more, and come with supply chain issues. BYD skipped all of that and went for LFP, which is cheaper, more stable, and way less likely to catch fire. Then they took it further. Instead of stacking the battery cells like blocks or rolling them up like cans, BYD made them long and flat like blades. Then they lined them up edge to edge in a pack with no wasted space between them. That's why it's called the blade battery. That's literally what it looks like. This design gives you more power in less space. Compared to regular LFP batteries, the blade setup increases energy density by about 50%. That means they can fit a powerful battery in a smaller package without giving up performance. And in plug-in hybrids like the Chin L or Seal 06, that space saving leaves more room for fuel tanks or other systems. Now let's talk about safety, because that was the first concern when this new battery was introduced. Most battery fires in EVs happen when the cells are damaged and overheat. The blade battery passed what's called the nail penetration test. That means they literally stabbed the battery with a metal spike, and it didn't catch fire or even smoke. If you try that with most other batteries, you will witness a dangerous mess. The blade stayed intact, which was a big deal. Cooling also got a full redesign. In older battery packs, the cooling system didn't always reach every part of the battery evenly. Some areas stayed hot, others cooled down too fast. That leads to wear and tear. BYD fixed that problem. They switched from a T-shaped cooling layout to an S-shaped one. This simple shift improved temperature balance by 45%, keeping every part of the battery closer to the same temperature. That makes the whole system more stable and helps the battery last longer. Speaking of long-lasting, the blade battery is built to go the distance. After 3,000 full charge cycles, it still holds 90% of its original capacity. Most batteries start to fade long before that. For the driver, this means fewer replacements and lower costs over time. The battery also charges fast, thanks to low internal resistance. And because it's tightly packed and part of the car's structure, it makes the car stronger too. In short, the blade battery fixes most of the problems other EV batteries still have. It is safer, tougher, longer lasting, and cheaper to build. No wonder BYD made it the center of everything they are doing right now. But BYD didn't just tweak a few parts and call it innovation. They rebuilt almost everything. Their smart strategy. Starting with vehicle aerodynamics, BYD applied dozens of refinements aimed at reducing energy loss during driving. The Chin L and Seal 06 feature active air intake grills that automatically open or close based on cooling needs. When cooling is not required, the grills remain shut to reduce frontal drag. Alongside this, the cars use low drag brake calipers and ultra low rolling resistance tires, which minimize friction between the tire and the road without compromising grip. Each of these features shaves off energy use, particularly during high-speed travel or long-distance driving. The car's overall shape and chassis also underwent changes to improve airflow. That helped lower the drag coefficient on multiple models. What that means in simple terms is the car faces less resistance while moving, especially at higher speeds. Less drag means less power needed to cruise, which means the electric motor lasts longer and the fuel engine burns less. That alone helps stretch the range even more without changing the motor or the tank. Inside the system, they didn't waste any opportunities either. They replaced a bunch of separate control units with one compact setup. It's called the 7-in-1 powertrain controller, and it handles everything from the inverter and the motor controller to gear shifts. Combining it all in one place cuts down on wiring, weight, and power loss. It also makes it easier to assemble and maintain. BYD didn't just improve the components, they improved how those components talk to each other. 
Even the small battery that powers your lights and dashboard got an upgrade. They switched from the usual 12-volt lead-acid battery to a 12-volt lithium-iron phosphate one. That alone cuts fuel use by 0.1 liters per 100 kilometers. It might not sound like much, but that's BYD's whole approach. Small gains stacked across the entire system until the result is something big. Another smart move was improving the fuel tank. Because the blade battery is slimmer and takes up less room, BYD had extra space to work with, so they increased the fuel tank in the Chin L from 48 liters to 65 liters. With that and the car's low fuel consumption, which is just 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, you get that massive 2,100 kilometer range. For reference, most compact SUVs don't even come close to that, and they have bigger engines. On the production side, BYD is way ahead of the curve. Most automakers rely on third-party suppliers for chips, motors, and control units, but not BYD. They build all their key systems in-house, which includes battery cells, motors, semiconductors, ECUs, charging modules, and thermal systems. That gives them more control over quality, timing, and cost. And it means they are not sitting around waiting for someone else's parts. Let's talk about the numbers. During the 2021 chip shortage, one powertrain controller chip cost about RMB 400, which is around $55. Now BYD gets it down to RMB 50, or just $7. That's an 87% drop. And since each car needs over 100 chips, that one shift slashes production costs by a huge margin. Their battery materials are also cheaper than most competitors. Instead of using nickel, manganese, and cobalt like many EVs, BYD uses lithium iron phosphate. It's safer, more stable, and far less expensive. And according to industry sources, BYD's internal costs for LFP materials are actually lower than CATLs, which is the largest battery maker in China. That gives BYD even more room to keep prices low without cutting corners. Because of that, BYD doesn't rely on rare, expensive materials like cobalt. They are not affected by price spikes, supply issues, or ethical sourcing controversies. They invested in LFP early, built it into their own supply chain, and now they are one of the only car makers that can scale battery production without depending on anyone else. All of this ties directly into how they price their cars. The Chin L and Seal 06 start at RMB 99,800, which is around 13,770 US dollars, and go up to RMB 139,800, or 19,290 US dollars. That's the same price range as older gasoline sedans that have not changed in years, and it is much lower than a base Tesla Model 3 in China which costs over 231,900 yuan. Even the Toyota Corolla Hybrid, which doesn't offer anywhere near this kind of range, starts at RMB 135,800. What makes this even more surprising is that BYD didn't raise prices at all. The new Chin L costs the same as the older Chin Plus Champion Edition, even though it comes with a better engine, better fuel economy, a more advanced hybrid system, and a redesigned platform. Most companies would raise the price and call it a premium version, but BYD didn't do that. They pass the savings from production straight to the buyer. That's the pattern with everything they have done. Right now, while other automakers are scaling back their EV goals or struggling to hit price targets, BYD is doing the opposite. You get more range and more features at lower prices. Market context. While BYD has been ramping up innovation, the broader EV market has hit some bumps. Pure electric vehicle growth is slowing mainly because the charging infrastructure is not keeping up. In many countries, especially outside major cities, drivers still struggle to find reliable, fast chargers. That gap is opening the door for plug-in hybrids. And the numbers prove it. In 2024, plug-in hybrid sales in China jumped by 85%, while battery electric vehicles only grew by 12%. Buyers are clearly choosing flexibility, EV range when they want it, fuel back up when they need it. Meanwhile, Tesla's growth has cooled. Tesla cut more than 14,000 jobs globally in early 2024 due to production slowdowns and softening demand. In the second quarter, Tesla delivered 1.79 million vehicles, 
down from earlier quarters, while BYD sold over 4.27 million vehicles, nearly four times Tesla's total in the same period. Instead of betting everything on BEVs, BYD is scaling both hybrid and electric lines. Their approach meets real-world needs, which are longer range, faster fueling, and lower prices. With models like the Chin L and Seal Zero starting at just $13,770 and offering 2,100 kilometers of range, it is easy to see why more buyers are going hybrid. So what about you? Would you go for a BYD with 2,100 kilometers range and all this technology, or stick with another brand? Drop your choice in the comments and tell us why. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates from the fast-moving world of EVs and hybrids.